My dearest Ruth, I greet you in the name of our Almighty God, who has shown his favor by, by allowing, allowing me to give birth to my firstborn son and our Savior Jesus. My heart leaps with joy to think that he is the Messiah we have been waiting for to set us free. Sadly, there was no room for us in the inn, but one innkeeper was gracious to offer us a stable for the night. The linens you wash before serve well as swaddling cloths for the baby. Thank you. Since we were without a bed, the son of the Most High God spent his first night in a manger. Can you imagine? We have had so many visitors who have come to see him. Oh, Ruth, he's such a beautiful baby. And I'm sure you're wondering if he has my eyes. But I'm afraid you'll you just, just have, have to wait until you see him. With love and friendship, Mary. Oh, my friend, I would have given anything to have been with you on that night. That night, that night, it was my watch. 2 a.m. and the sky was full of stars and the air was quiet, but curiously still. And then I noticed it, the wind breathing across my skin, whispering something wonderful through the leaves of the olive trees. The sheep hear it, they look up, and I look up, and there he is, an angel blazing like a torch in the sky, saying, don't be afraid, for I bring good news. And then, in an instant, the entire sky is on fire with angels, on fire with good news from heaven itself. Gloria. 